following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Oh, look who we oh, have. It's a beautiful thing. Look at our man, Jim from Minneapolis. We're going to take it by storm. Take it by storm, baby. <laughs> I love that. That's a great saying, man. Hey, what's happening, brother? Good morning, gentlemen. How you guys doing today? Good man. Yourself? Oh, man. It's been the most incredible couple of days since when I called in on Friday. Litecoin busted out of that consolidation on the two-hour chart. Okay. And it just never looked back. It did a 100-point ABC up, and now it's very extended the way I look at it. But yeah. holy commo I mean, it went up to $420 last night. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go 10 hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a, a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you're right. You may even destroy relationships in order to defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 30, NASDAQ down 22, S&P's up 6.5, gold contract down $12.40, trading at 1495 an ounce. Silver down 66 cents, that's quite a hit. $17.51 an ounce. Light sweet crude off 26 cents, trading... $54.83 a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the 10 year down 27 ticks, 128.19. The 30 year off a full two points plus three ticks, 157.23. Now, both notes and bonds, folks, broke a B point yesterday of an ABC structure on the way down. Bonds have been going up for five and a half months. The, what's pretty wild here is that the price projection in the 10 as well as the 30 is going to bring it right back to where you had the second breakout on bonds on August 1st. So what does that mean? Well, number one, I suspect this uh, ABC structure is going to get finished, price projection-wise. Number two, you're going against a breakout area, and this is where the bulls and bears are going to be fighting out in a huge way because it's monster volume at that uh, area. Right now, you had volume yesterday. You get volume on the way down today. We'll see how it goes against the, that breakout area. King Dollar. King Dollar uh, down 66 ticks, ticks trading 97,810. King Dollar, folks, is fighting about the 97,770 area. So the, the first zone or range would be 97,770, 97.770. You get back inside that, then King Doll is going to have a shot to get into the 97.050. The euro is at 110, the yen is at 108.13, and the pound is at 124 to 1 the U.S. dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, it looks like we're going to have out here, folks, we take a look at the SPY first. We'll get into the futures in a second because the futures uh, just broke a B point of a, an ABC structure on the way down intraday also. We go into the SPY first. What you're going to see with the SPY is that the SPY is going to be a failure on price and a failure in volume at the highs. SPY got up to a price point um, this week of 302.46. We took out the high, which was 302. 23, we're at 300.80. You coming into that uh, with, uh, let's see, we get uh, 294 million shares versus 447. So that's going to be a failure on price as well as volume. We get into uh, a, a little bit closer, meaning on the 10 minute chart, and what you're going to see is that we just took out a B point of an ABC structure on the way down intraday. So let's see where this baby sets up. So we got, uh, okay, so your A point on this intraday is uh, 320, and your B is uh, 309, 11 points. So that sets up, uh, we're almost there. It sets up 301, 3001. Right now you're at 3008. We, we had just taken, when I was coming on the air, we just took that out with 13,000 contracts. Uh, I don't know, interesting. I don't know, hold it. Yeah, we'll see if it, we, we got less contract volume. We took it out with 13.7 versus 15. 
pretty funny that the bar looks bigger. So we'll see where that shakes out. Uh, bottom line, you just have a little uh, downdraft in there. Let's go take a look at the NQs, see how the NQs are operating right now. The NQs have been much weaker than the, than the, the uh, S&P. Uh, NQs didn't even get close to its highs out here. Uh, we take a look at the NQs intraday, and what the NQs have just done is that they just got down to a price point, okay, of uh, 79.05, and the last high low out there was uh, at 130, was 79.06, and the low was 79.05.75. So we just generated that. Yeah, it's going to be a little battle coming into the close out here. Gold contract. What do we have with the gold contract? They bid gold down. Bottom line, contraction of volume in a huge way. So uh, I do expect gold can go a little bit lower than this. We're at 14.95 right now, and the way uh, this baby's trading, it uh, that thing can get into a 14.67 pretty easy. Um, doesn't have volume behind the move as we're going down. We're going down with 349,000 contracts. You're going into 617 as well as. Uh, 652. Silver, this baby here, they're taking this thing apart. Let's go take a look at the silver market. So, silver out here, right now we are at, uh, let's see, we're not, we're not, no, S I Z, there we go. December silver right now, we are down 63 cents. We're talking about a move, man. Holy cow. Uh, you got 99,000 contracts traded. And well, it's not an ABC down yet. Okay, so we had a high that was established out here a week and a half ago at 1975. This is saying silver can actually get down to 1739 to 1658. And that would have been the break top side on the 7th of, Jan of uh, August. Notes and bonds. Here's your ABC structures on the way down. We take a look at the note market first, folks, the 10-year note. What you're going to see out here is that this baby broke a B point yesterday, broke it with volume. Your B point set up here was the lows of, the, of Tuesday. That was the 10th. 129.26. We had done 2 million contracts there. Bottom line, you took it out yesterday with 2.6 million. This sets up a uh, test of the 127.21. Your price projection on the 10 is 127.26. The low of the breakout area happens to be 127.21. And if we go back to the September contract, the reason I'm going back to the September contract is we want to get the volumes for August 1st because we just rolled this baby. That'll give you a good idea of what we're going to need to really break down. Okay, so that contract, 3.13 million contracts. That's what we went into. And, you know, we got big contract volume today. Now, normally what, ha what ends up happening is this, folks, is that when you have an ABC structure on the way down or way up, bottom line, it, it, price projection-wise, the way this is trading, I suspect we're going to get it. That being said, you can see that the volume is coming out before you're getting into the breakout area. That's telling me that as we get into the breakout area, it'll die in the vine. This is a normal retracement in a market that's been up for five months, and we're going topside once again. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow is up uh, 13. Nasdaq's down 28. S&Ps are uh, uh, down 8. And there's a, there's a, we have a question, folks. And what it is, does anyone have a, a recommended source online to research and maybe buy silver or gold coins? If you have any experience, what coins are best to buy? Okay. This is a great question, folks. Okay. So this is the way this works. The, when we're taking a look at a gold right now, 1496.60, okay? Silver trading out there at $17.59. Now, what happens is that as the price of gold, well, first off, the, the best gold coins to buy are uh, eagles, and this is why. What happens with eagles, and, it, and I'm not talking about newsmatic coins here, I'm talking about just straight out eagles, and this is what ends up happening with eagles. Eagles, you can buy as many as you want. When you sell them, they do not they are not giving you uh, basically a, a W9 or whatever they, they normally give you that is getting reported. Now, it's really intriguing because what ha has happened and what the government has done is this. They allow eagles to be bought and sold on a continual basis without regulation. Now, that doesn't mean that you don't supposed to, if you make a profit on them, guess what? You make a profit on them, you're supposed to basically put that in your taxes. Bottom line, they are the most liquid out there. They're going to uh, be premium-wise uh, a few more dollars than either the uh, Maple Leafs or the Krugerrands. The differential is that if you buy the Maple Leafs and you buy the Krugerrands, if, you, if we're talking about 10, 20, 30, and whatever you're buying, what will end up happening is that when you do go to sell them, bottom line, you're going to get a farm, you're going to fill it out, bang, the bottom line is that you have registered. Silver. Now, the way this works with silver goes like this. Silver always has a much higher premium. You know, the gold, percentage-wise, this is. The silver premium is pretty extraordinary. And uh, bottom line, doesn't mean, but you can see the volatility in silver is much bigger. You know, so if you're, if you're, if you're getting your head wrapped around it, it'd be your gold eagles first. Silver, the bottom line is that, you know, you could buy the green boxes right off the treasury. You get the 250 ounces in a green box. Um, if you do that, you make sure that you're not trading them, okay? You, you, you're not buying gold and silver 
the actual physical metal to trade. You, you better hold them for a, for a couple of years. That's how that, that, that baby got to shake out. Um, if you want a place to buy them, one of the best places in the whole country happens to be right here. I do business with the guys all the time. It's Bel Air Coin. It's Bel Air Coin in Bel Air. Jay, Chris, it's a family operation. They're monsters, and they'll, they'll take care of you. And I'm not saying that just to the aspect of, of an ad. The bottom line is that um, and you're, if you're doing that, you want to make sure you have someone you can trust. Now, numismatic coins, folks, are a whole different ballgame. And this is what I want to, uh, everyone to understand how this works. On a numismatic coin, you're paying a fortune, okay? And you better know what you're doing buying them, and you might have them for 30 or 40 or 50 years, okay? And what also happens is this. This is, this is the most important part about it. Let's say right now gold is at 1496. I think gold is going to uh, 1795. And this is what you're going to see happen. The higher the price that gold goes, the less that the premium comes in and the less that newsmatic coins are actually worth. Because what ends up happening, once get gold gets to a certain point, we're close to that point, it starts happening at about $1,700, $1,800. What ends up happening, everyone is buying it flat out just for the metal value. Okay, so keep that in mind uh, as you're out there shopping, and uh, it's it's really important. Um, and listen, I think they, they're great investments, but you want to make sure that you come in and buy right, and you're not paying a premium that's outrageous. You know. Market market wise, right now we get the uh, Dow up uh, 14, Nasdaq down to 26, S and P's are off uh, six and a half. If we get over and we take a look at the uh, oil market, let's go take a look at oil here, C L V nine. Okay, so oil's trading sideways, 54.90. Uh, this broke its uptrend, folks. Uh, it broke its uptrend with conviction uh, on Wednesday. Wednesday, we went from 58 to 55. Yesterday, we went from 56 to 54. Uh, to 54. Uh, what you're going to see here is that you not only broke it with conviction. Let me see how this works on a weekly, too. Yeah, on a weekly, so you did two different things. You broke, you broke with conviction on the way down, and you failed the whole price at the highs. So what I do expect you're going to see there is that you're going to see uh, gold coming, I mean, uh, oil coming in at a lower price. If you'd like to come to my webinar, I'm doing a webinar, folks, for all my subscribers. Uh, this webinar is going to be next Wednesday night. It is going to be at from 5 to 6 Eastern Standard Time. It's real easy to get into. All you do, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go into featured content, and as you go into featured content, folks, you're going to see the gold report. You can subscribe to the gold report. You can get that for either a month. You can get it for six months. You can get it for a year. They all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Uh, you'll get a great report Monday morning as well as a great webinar. And inside that webinar, we're going to be talking about why I think the next leg up is going to take us to 1794, how the bond market uh, basically uh, moves the gold market, uh, where the demand is coming in in the gold market, uh, how uh, gold outperforms currencies over a longer period of time, and um, you talk about the number of uh, trades per day inside the physical gold market. Right now, folks, they're banging out at 110 billion a day, which is more than the Dow Industrials. Now, you've heard me, yeah, that being said, that's the physical market. The equity market is much smaller. There's no doubt about that. But that's why you have movements that are such fast and furious inside of the equity market. NDX, what, what do we have out here that today is that uh, in this week, divergence in a huge way. If we go over and take a look at the NDX, what you're going to see is that the NDX couldn't get to its highs out here. In fact, it couldn't get to the uh, highs of August 1st, which is the downdraft, which is 194.98. We're at 192.48 right now, and you're going to see, we put this up on the weekly basis. What you're going to see up there is that, uh, let's see, last week, 192.32. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So, uh, you, you certainly, you're going against 199 million shares, and we did out here this week 123. That's the first part. As we come into the close here, another number, which is going to be uh, a big number. I don't think we're going to close on this, but if we do, it's even more bearish. That would be 192.32. 192.32, folks, was the high that was generated out here last week. And right now, we're at 192.48. Small caps. Small caps uh, got buying in that indice in a huge way this week. 
small what the small caps did out here today it got to a price point of 158 dollars and 92 cents uh the last high out here was 159.23 and uh 25 million shares so let's see that's good share volume last three days monster share volume um 159.23 yeah listen the small caps still look like they want to go hit that 159.23 which would be the highs before the downdraft August the week the first week of August uh, that is pushing into that level it does have some volume as it's pushing into it we got to take a look at the higher volume equities out here and today we're gonna we're gonna come in with a low volume market out here so this is a test of highs with lower volume we got Apple uh, look at that they're hitting Apple Apple's down four dollars this is kind of intriguing let's take a look at that yeah Apple's going to uh, close inside the uh, uh, lower range. Anything inside uh, 221, 37 is the lower range. Stay right there, folks. Coming back with our man, Mr. Dave White. We are going to be talking technology. Coming right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. TFNN has put together the best lineup of live content for traders by traders every market day, featuring some of the most knowledgeable and respected minds in the business. TFNN broadcasts five days a week live from 9 a.m. until 5 p.m. Eastern Time. We have live programming every market day during market hours. Every morning, Larry Pesavento kicks off the trading day live at 9 a.m. and breaks down the opening bell with Trade What You See. At 10 a.m., Tom and Tommy O'Brien host the TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour, followed at 11 a.m. by the team at TD Ameritrade and Thinkorswim with Fast Market. Basil Chapman hosts the Tiger Technicians Hour at noon, Steve Rhodes at 1 p.m. with the Trader's Edge, Dave White at 2 p.m. with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien anchors the daily lineup from 3 till 5 as host of the Tom O'Brien Show. Tune in to TFNN's Tiger TV on your computer or mobile device, and you can always find us streaming on YouTube. TFNN.com, educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 32, Nasdaq's down 21, S&Ps are up 4.5. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Dave White, as we do every Friday at 3.30. And don't forget, folks, Dave has an outstanding show here every trading day, 2 to 3 Eastern Standard Time. Also has two great newsletters. The way you get his newsletters, you come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to go right under newsletters, and you're going to see the path of least resistance as well as the tech insider. 
Uh, you'd like to get uh, either one of them and just hit the button. Well, right now, we'll hit the path of least resistance. Uh, you'll see, you, you basically hit subscribe. You're going to come up. You can get the path of least resistance for one month for $119. You can get it for six months for $5.99, which is a savings of $155, or 21%. You can get it for a year for $985, which is a savings of $443, or 31%. They all come, folks, with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Dave White, what's going on? Well, I heard you talking about Apple, and there's a, Apple was kind of down earlier because of Avago's comments last night on earnings. Oh, cool. So, okay. AVGO. Yeah, were, Broadcom, right? Yeah. They, uh, for any company that does business with Apple, they've got a non-disclosure agreement. So they have to find creative ways during their earnings call saying that they aren't going to be doing so much business with a company that they can't say who it is. Okay. So it's always torture, and everybody already knows what they're saying and who it is because there's only one company that uh, is going to shut the valve on and off that hard. Yes. Uh, and that's Apple. So it, it is uh, Apple down just a little bit on what they are saying is going to be soft. Um sales into Apple through this fall. And, you know, you got new phones coming out now from Apple uh, from their dog and pony on Tuesday. Uh, but to me, the... the yeah, infomercial, right? <laughs> well, I, I'm kind of immune to all the uh, marketing hype. And maybe it's just years of going to that stuff that I've just become immune to it. Or uh, actually, it bothers me now. But... Yeah, it's an infomercial. Want, uh, it's definitely an infomercial now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, it's it. That's the hard part of it for me. Is just, I'd rather have the spec sheet, and go. Okay, here. Da, 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 da. And of course, the only thing I really needed to hear on Tuesday was that they had a five dollar price for their streaming web service. Yeah. For a streaming movie service, and the uh, the instant to hit that Netflix took. Uh, not only that, but uh, they're going up against Netflix that has a $5 price in India with a $2 price for Apple. So it's not just in the United States that they're going to go head on with these folks. And it made me uh, think a, a great deal of uh, uh, Jeff uh, Weiner from LinkedIn, or Weiner, Long Weiner from LinkedIn, um, when he was selling to Microsoft and he said, I just don't understand how any, how any decent sized company can go it alone uh, anymore against the BMOS. And he said, well, uh, Microsoft was the, la was the uh, he didn't say it this way, but it basically was that he decided to go with Microsoft because it was the least of uh, all the bad options of not being able to remain a company themselves. And uh, my boss used to always say, hey, in our business, we want a three-legged stool. We want three different businesses so that if one ends up being uh, problematic, that we'll still have the other two and we'll have time to fix the one and the other ones can hold us up. And of course, if for Apple, they've got a lot of different businesses. Of course, 85% of everything they do is linked to the iPhone right. for profits. Well, they, they're now uh, they're going to need content. So they got they got a road ahead of them, man. <laughs> right. Well, if you buy one of the new phones now, uh, you're going to get a one year free of this. Yeah, but you and still need content. That's my point. They, yeah, yeah. They need content but, to stream. They don't have content. No, but they they got 260 billion dollars. <laughs> so I'm not really worried about them needing content in the short term. They can go out and buy whatever they want. Um, they've got a new movie that's uh, got the guy in from Aquaman that uh, was interesting. They showed the trailer for it. They've got a few other shows that they're doing themselves. But at a $5 price, it, it, it's interesting. My point, though, is uh, can even companies the size and the scale of Netflix go it alone anymore against somebody uh, like, my, uh, like Apple uh, and uh, Facebook and Google? Is there, is there a place anymore that unless you do something they definitely don't want to be in, uh, they can just come in and do this to you because, of course, they've got so much other money coming in for other things, they can run you broke and bleed you dry in the meantime. Uh, and, you know, why Netflix got hit, I didn't notice that Disney got hit that much. 
Uh, but it, it's kind of the same thing, is that there isn't a real barrier to entry for video streaming anymore. Um, a well, few lots years, of cash. What's that? You need lots of cash. Yeah, but I mean, it's not like you built a car that gets 150 miles per gallon. The downside is it takes two lanes, right? So is everybody going to instantly start widening uh, all the highways across the country? The answer is no. So it doesn't matter how great the car is, you're not going to get anybody to do that. So the barrier to entry to a, a wide car is pretty tough. But the barrier to entry is you just want to do it like you said, and you've got the cash. And if you've got a, a decent business model, someone, apparently just about anybody, can start a startup these days and do it. And if you go to either Amazon or, or Google or Microsoft, you can get the scale you need virtually overnight. Yeah, no, I so, think Amazon's going to be the monster. That's, that's the one that I think they all have to watch out for. Because the bottom line is that you know, they're making money hand over fist, and they can keep getting content, you know. And Disney well, well, is game. You know, Disney Disney has so much content, it's amazing. Content is really expensive. So, it, uh, you know, it, 220, it 250 billion for Apple is not a lot for content. You know? The thing that I would think that uh, gets, a uh, gets Amazon ahead of the rest is that they've learned to live with low margins and high volume a long time ago. Right. Where these other companies like Apple, it's got a 65% margin uh, know, that it's got to kind of keep uh, to man. keep going on. And Netflix, too. If they don't keep those kind of margins, you could see this stock's halved in a matter of time. Now, like I said, with $260 billion sitting around Apple, you could spend $10 billion and no one would still say anything on content for the next five years. So it's not, I mean, they're at such size that it doesn't matter if they have this $5 price for years to come. It's not going to make a dent in what they do. Uh, and that is the question when we get into, um, like this morning, where uh, Facebook and Google uh, were uh, subpoenaed to turn over all their emails uh, about oh, they, they, have, they have some very large antitrust problems there's no doubt about that. Right. They, they're going to take them down you know but the, five but years the, seven the, years how long is it going to take we'll find out you know i think it's going to take about two years the uh and of course i talked about it on my show a little bit it was the emails that got microsoft yes. in thousand and my guess is that there are going to be just as many emails uh in these companies that talk about uh really trying to stick it to anybody else that uh, is in the same business with them, and generally that's the weight of the case. But uh, again, very tough to see. Now, does it end up being Netflix end up having to be bought by another company? Can with storm uh, with uh, with uh, go through the storm of a price or with uh, with these other companies? Stay right there, folks. Dave and I are coming right back. We have the Dow up 38, Nasdaq down 17, S&P's off three and a half. Dave and I are coming right back, folks. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't 
miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow up 41, Nasdaq down 18, S&P's uh, down three and a half. And on that college scandal, folks, uh, so this just came across the tape. Uh, Felici uh, Hoffman just got 14 days in the can. A lot better than what she could have got. That's the bottom line. She had pleaded, pleaded guilty. The prosecution recommended zero to six months. Uh, the judge said, well, no, there was no one that got palm, but bottom line, 14 days. What do we got next, Dave? Uh, Firefox VPN, virtual private networks. I was going to bring this up, I don't know, a month ago, maybe two months ago, but I think I never got around to it. Uh, virtual private networks give you a tunnel, a protected tunnel in and out of the Internet, uh, and you can get these for five, ten bucks a month uh, from a variety of different providers, some from the U.S. and some for the others. Uh, one of the security experts, though, went and started looking at these VPNs and found out that uh, seven of the ten that he first looked at looked on the surface to be, you know, companies that were either based in Europe uh, or the United States, but were really either based in Russia or, or in China. So you're basing your security uh, on a company that kind of hides the fact that they're uh, in the land of the, the biggest hackers of the world. Um, so I didn't... So if, but, if you go to a VPN, you don't know where that uh, is stationed? Well, you, you better find out and right. make sure. If the, the one that, if you really wanted the most secure one, you'd probably get the companies that are out of Switzerland because they have a security law that prevents them from doing anything horrible, unlike the rest of Europe and the United States, the... NSA, you know, CIA, all those folks, right, uh, can probably do anything they want with a, a, a letter, uh, and you may just get caught up in what's going on. Uh, but the biggest problem I have is all that data is going to go through Russia or China or other places you don't want it to go. And the whole point of getting a virtual private network is uh, making sure that you keep it uh, secure. Now, Firefox... Um, the, the browser has decided to set one up in its own uh, browser. Okay. Uh, and they're going to be doing it. It'll all be U.S.-based. It's not available outside the United States. Uh, so this will only be a U.S. thing. Uh, I installed it yesterday and played with it, and it seems to be uh, as advertised. One, it's free. And two, it works. And it's all uh, in the United States. So, you know, if you're doing anything illegally, you shouldn't be doing it, first of all, but, you, you, you know, the government can look into it. My problem was that if you're doing credit card stuff uh, and you're at a uh, Wi-Fi location at the Starbucks, you know, you've always got the problem of being uh, hacked or what they call a man-in-the-middle attack, um, that they can look at your data or actually the data going 
uh, both ways. And while HTTPS does solve some of that, it doesn't solve it um, totally and you can still get hacked. This one is probably as close to hack proof as you can get. So let's say you're deciding to pay your bills down at the Starbucks or okay. at McDonald's or something else. You'd just be able to use their browser and have a secure uh, connection from one side to the next uh, without anybody easily being able to. Like, what happens an, with like a Google Pay? How does that work? Uh, same thing. They've got an HTTPS signal back and forth. Okay. And why it's encrypted? If you get in the middle of that, called a man in the middle attack. Yeah. You can see the original uh, keys sent to Google and the keys that Google sends back to you, so you can decode it. It'll still be encrypted, but wow. if you can get to the point where you're basically handing uh, the keys back and forth, then you can decrypt everything in that so conversation. So like, let's picture this. I mean, I, I use Google Pay. So let's, let's picture, you know, I'm just somewhere. It doesn't matter. Do you know what I mean? It's like, okay, you hit it. Because when you bring it up, it certainly doesn't bring your credit card up and all that stuff. You hit it. Right. You just flash it. You're saying that a hacker could get in between that terminal, my phone, and then what? go into that, go back to Google, find out what that credit card is and come back out the other side? It would be able to decode any data sent back and forth. Wow. So I don't know exactly what they send back and forth, but they would be able to see everything that you sent them and everything they sent you if you get in at the beginning of the conversation between the two. Now, the idea behind this is while you're in the browser, everything from the beginning to the end uh, is encrypted. You're not handing keys back and forth that are unencrypted. So it, it basically is, uh, how would I describe it? Uh, a box within a box and each one is locked. And so you would have to literally hack both of them. And there's a lot, you know, generally with criminals that are after that kind of data, all you have to do is make it a little harder and they'll go after the next guy that isn't. Making sure, it harder. Right, right. They right. go for the lowest hanging fruit. And um, bigger money, right? You didn't, you didn't, and bigger yeah, money, right, right. right. But one, I would say I don't trust VPNs that you don't know exactly who owns them. And I probably wouldn't use one myself that I, did, I paid for that didn't come out of uh, Sweden, or I mean, out of uh, Switzerland. Uh, and if you are using, uh, if you don't have one or you don't really understand how to use it, basically they made one with it built in. You actually have to have an add-on right now, but it'll be, become a part of the product in a couple of months uh, as a standard thing. And you just click a button, and now you've got a, uh, a secure tunnel between you and whoever you're talking to. And there's no way that anybody locally can do that man-in-the-middle uh, attack and get the data going both ways. And that's really kind of the, like I said, they're going to go look for someone else uh, that's a lot easier than to do a lot of work unless, you know, you're the president of the United States or, you know, sure, some right, kind right. of nation state hacking thing. Right. They'll just go find somebody else that's easier. So it's free. If you're paying bills online, I suggest that you can download it now and get the uh, get the link. If anybody needs it, you can email me at path at tfnn.com and I'll send you a link to the article. But uh, from now on, um, it doesn't cost anything. It works and it's fairly fast. Now that it's new, there aren't a lot of people using it yet, so it is fast. Cool. Uh, it didn't and this is Firefox, even right? Slower. Yeah, it's Firefox browser, and uh, it's just their own version of a VPN, uh, where normally everything that goes through your computer goes through a VPN. This is just everything in the browser. The Firefox browser goes through this VPN. So it's not like having a full VPN, uh, but if you're just paying bills, doing stuff like that, uh, is a great way to get a lot of security for free. And, of course, it's a all nonprofit Mozilla uh, Foundation. Yeah. Well, it's always been a good it. browser, right? Yeah. It's always been a good browser, and everything works pretty much as advertised. I did test it last night and yesterday, and it works fairly well. But uh, especially since we have a lot of people doing things like uh, moving money around uh, in their accounts, uh, always a good thing to try. Yeah. Uh, if you're going to your broker or anybody else where they may be able to, uh, or your bank, where they're going to be able to transfer lots of money uh, and score pretty big stuff, that's uh, it's a great thing to have. 
It's the, the, this hacking deal, man, it just doesn't stop. It's pretty, pretty. It, it doesn't. It's spy versus spy, right? They always just uh, take it to one more level. Yeah, and I guess the the more digital we get, the more it's going to be. Pretty wild. Yep. Stay right there, folks. Dave and I come right back. We have the Dow up 47, Nasdaq down 13, S&Ps are off two, Gold's down 12, 90, Silver's off 65 cents. Notes and bonds, they're doing their ABC structure on the way down. You get the 10-year down 28 ticks, 30-year off a full two points. Come right back, folks. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow's up 45, Nasdaq's down 14, S&Ps are off 2.5. And, and don't forget, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You can check out Dave's newsletter. Real easy to do. As you go over there, you're going to go into newsletters. You're going to see the path of least resistance as well as the tech insider. They both come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Microsoft's dog and pony show. What do we have here, Dave? Well, uh, just uh, put it on your... Uh on your calendar and make sure you're not short, uh, probably short Microsoft on this date. It's October 2nd. Um, one of the reasons that you want to pay attention to this is the CEO will be there and uh, he's only there when they launch new products. Okay. So they may have something fairly big or neat or cool, uh, but that'll be October 2nd. And you just want to always know it's kind of like uh, Wednesday, Apple ran real hard. 
a lot of times, you know, the PRs around this can get oh, yeah. stocks moving for even a couple of days, even if they're in a downtrend. And or, Microsoft's been one of the strongest stocks in the marketplace, period. I yeah, mean, and yeah. it pulled back a little bit. Um, but uh, they uh, have been doing extremely well since uh, Panos Pan A took over all the design of their laptops. He's been working on a phone. And my guess is we're going to see an Android phone from Microsoft designed by him. And he's made the probably the hottest laptops out in the market for Microsoft for the last, well, I'm going to, four years, five years. He took a, kind of a disaster of an idea, which was their own specific laptops, and actually made it a huge profitable part of uh, Microsoft. And his, for a kind of a guy that plugs hardware and software together and makes it really nice, he's kind of probably the closest thing to um kind of the Apple design philosophy that's outside of Apple. The amazing part, folks, these numbers are sick. So Apple, I mean, Microsoft, folks, is still growing throughout the world, not just the United States, at 11.5% a year, okay? When you look at these numbers, five years ago, they did 93 billion. They're gonna do 140 billion next year. Crazy, yep. man, wow. Dave, thanks so much for the education. You bet. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. We look forward to the show next week. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about, whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it, take ownership of it, and fly with it. Everything you need is right inside you, folks. Look forward to speaking right back here Monday morning, 9 o'clock. Wow! Look at him,